So just a few days after getting FSD 12.5, here arrives 12.5.1, downloading, looking at the release notes, there's no difference in the release notes between this version and 12.5, so no indication of what's changed. I remember back in the day we used to get very detailed, granular release notes, but not lately. So I'll go ahead and activate now. Again, this is FSD 12.5.1, just installed today, Monday, July 29th, at about 2 p.m. today. It's 5 o'clock now, so a little more traffic. There's always traffic in the Poinciana area. Poinciana is not even a city, it's a collection of neighborhoods, but it has about 80,000 residents in South Kissimmee and straddles between Osceola and Polk County. So I have this um, configured for average aggressiveness, not chill and not aggressive. That was a fairly quick acceleration, but not much different than what I do driving manually. A little bit of afternoon rain, but nothing like the thunderstorms we normally get in the afternoon here in Florida. I was thinking to test the barricade coming into the neighborhood when I left this morning. A car probably in manual mode ran through the barricade. This happens about once a week. So it's not just FSD that has trouble with the barricades apparently, but I think most of the humans doing this are probably doing it intentionally. So this is a fairly short drive, only about three and a half miles this time, but I'll do a longer drive, of course, later. There's plenty of room behind the car ahead. We're only going 51 miles an hour, even though the max speed is set at 59 and the speed limit at 55. So not really sure why it's not speeding up here, but I've noticed that a few times. I do not have the automatic speed adjustment turned on. Not a hazard by any means, I just don't understand the behavior. We actually have two entry lanes into the neighborhood, each with a barricade with the gate beyond. Some construction cones here. So I'm going to choose to do the right lane. I'll just turn on the turn signal. I've got barcodes on either side of the car. So here's the stop sign, my foot's near the brake pedal. Let's see what happens. Speeding up, speeding up. Ah, this time I let it stop. It took it a second. It does show something on the screen here, probably the gate. Kind of hesitated for a second there. I was thinking about going around this barricade. That's interesting. So I'm going to cancel that. It must not know that the barricade's going to rise. Okay, I'm going to disconnect because it doesn't look like the barcode read me here. Now the gate's opening. So we actually approached so quickly that the barcode reader didn't read and the car was going to drive around the barricade. That's interesting behavior. So it saw there was an obstruction, though it saw it very late. It's just a foot or two to spare. But then the, bar, the barricade did not rise. So that's a different kind of behavior this time. 
So let's look at it again at 50% speed. So you can pay attention to the speed indicator on the left of the screen as it starts accelerating up 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Start slowing a little bit. Steering wheel starts shaking back and forth like it can't decide if it's going to try to go around this thing or not. But there's a car to our left, so you can't really go around. And you can see on the screen in front of the car, there's a little hazy area representing the barricade and then a line all the way across, presumably representing the gate. Since there wasn't room to go around the barricade, given that there was another barricade that also had a card reader, that's why I deactivated the FSD. So, something different. So this time I'm going to come around to the other entrance of the neighborhood that also has the barricade. Let's see how it behaves over there. So I'll go ahead and set in a route, but I'm going to exit the neighborhood and go to the other entrance. So it almost hit the barricade. My foot was heading to the brake pedal when the car suddenly stopped. If you look closely, you saw the steering wheel go back and forth a couple times as it was thinking about trying to turn to avoid the imminent collision. But since the barricade was above the level of the hood, it didn't touch any part of the car. And you could see a ghost-like image on the screen where the gate was, but you could barely see anything where the barricade was. It makes one wonder if the uh, software, when it's looking for obstructions, is looking for obstructions closer to the pavement and not really noticing this, an obstruction suspended in the air, such as a barricade is. Leave your comments below if you have an opinion on this, or even better, if you actually have knowledge. I don't think Tesla's published anything on this, so unless you work at Tesla, it's probably just a guess. So I'm not going to activate FSD again until we're in a position where it's going to choose the other entrance to the neighborhood, because I don't want to come back to the same one. Here we go, so now I can activate. Be attentive, keep your hands on the wheel. The warning was too quick for me to read the fine print. It's always a trick knowing how long to let the car go before you have to take over. Because if I take over too soon, somebody's bound to say, oh, you shouldn't let it go, it would have stopped. Well, sure it would. I don't want to pay for another barricade or for a repair to the front of the car either. So, of course, it's a judgment call. That last one was pretty darn close. Literally, my foot was touching the pedal when the car suddenly stopped short. I'll have to do a slow motion of that as well, like we did last time, just so we can watch what happened with the speed display. Put near the brake pedal again. Now this one doesn't have a gate, therefore the barricade opens more rapidly. It doesn't have to wait on the gate to open before the barricade lifts up. Slowing down for the speed bump a little bit. Speeding up, speeding up. Mm -hmm. up. That time I had to hit the brakes and disengage. As we were continuing to accelerate with no hint of deceleration, and the barricade was not going to get out of, way in, out of the way in time to avoid a collision. So here we go again at half speed. Pay attention to the speed indication. It is slowly slowing down for the speed bump, just like last time. Maintain the speed, starting to accelerate. But then I put on the brake as we were going to accelerate right into the barricade or come very close to it. So 
So, for 12.5.1, best to deactivate before you come to a barricade. It might see it, it might not, but there's a good chance it's going to hit it. So that's it for my first test drive of version 12.5.1, testing out the barricade entrance again. I'll do another video later, maybe with some more distance, to see what other circumstances we can go into to find out if there's really any uh, visible difference between 12.5 and 12.5.1. Until next time, see you later.